Good morning. It was a cold one last night. I like, didn't sleep. I was so cold. <laughs> Just kept tossing and turning. And it was really cold this morning, so I got up around like six something, but I didn't get moving really till at least half an hour later because I was so cold. But I'm on my way now. And um, today is the day that I am hiking to where I'm gonna camp before I summit Whitney. So I'm really excited, but it's gonna be a very tiring 24 hours. More than that actually, because I'm gonna maybe try to get up like super early in the morning to summit Whitney for sunrise. So I have about a little over 16 miles until the split off. And then I think I'm gonna go another I don't know how many miles exactly, but another four miles or so, or more, because I could be wrong on the mileage, to Guitar Lake, where I'm gonna camp, and then sleep for a few hours, and then get up and night hike up Whitney. So I'm really excited. I can't believe I'm already at this point, but I'll keep you guys posted like usual. Sometimes you have to climb up big boulders in order to get beautiful views like this. <laughs> it's sand and it's so hard to walk. <laughs> officially crossing the national park boundary. So um, typically I use uh, Bay Republic sunscreen for my face. Um, the sunscreen is just really um, light and it's like chemical free and it has like zinc oxide in it and all the good stuff. Well, they actually sent me a whole bunch of these little sunscreen sticks and there's like a ton of colors, um, but they all smell really good. Like this one's like like apple flavored or something, but I, they're colored. So like I put it on my like freckle because you guys know I like to keep it covered because it's um, like good sunscreen, but they're fun because they're all colored and um, you're probably gonna see me wearing a lot of them because there's like green and then like purple and blue and pink, orange and yellow. And they all smell different and really good and they're fun. So. I just thought I should explain why I have this big green blob on my face. But uh, yeah, I think it's fun and it, you know, goes with my Starburst theme. So I'm um, probably gonna make some other people put it on. So I'm not the only one with like colored crap on my face. <laughs> Oh, I almost tripped again. My first little stream crossing. Thank goodness for these logs or tree trunks. Okay, I didn't eat it. I had an audience. They were all like anxiously waiting for me to cross. I had some wobbly moments. But I successfully walked, walked across there without falling in. I almost fell in, or I like tripped. Right at the beginning, I stepped on a rock and it was wobbly and it tilted forward and it plunged me forward. So, <laughs> oh boy. But I didn't fall. 
and I didn't fall in front of all those people. So, good job to me. So much water everywhere. I found a little rock chair. Ugh, so I'm just gonna jug a lot of water since I'm here at some water. Um, fill up and then carry on and going to some part of like base camp of Whitney or somewhere close to it. But a little worrisome. Um, I was taking a little nap earlier and I was like laying on my back and since my surgery on my back, every single time I'm like on my back and I try to sit up, it always hurts. But it's just kind of like, oh, I kind of grip my teeth and I sit up. It's probably not good, but whatever. Well, just back down the hill, that was like, I tried to sit up and I, I couldn't, I couldn't. The pain was like nothing I felt before from this. And I was like, oh no. So I laid back down and I tried to roll on my side to get up. That was like even worse. And it brought, like, it made my eyes water because it was so painful. And I laid there and I was just like, what am I supposed to do? Like, this isn't okay. And then I kept trying to sit up and I like couldn't. And I started to get really frustrated. Like, I wanted to cry <laughs> because out of pain and just like, this is not okay. And I, out of nowhere, I just like pushed myself up and the, the pain was just not okay. But I sat up and I can never lay back down on my back ever again. But now I have this like pain, like this aching, pain, dull pain going down my, my left buttocks where this incision was and I've been trying to massage it out and even sitting like this hurts. So I'm hoping <laughs> nothing happened, like nothing tore again. Um, I was feeling the incision area and all I can feel is like my scar tissue, but it is bulging out of my back. So I don't know, I don't know. It wasn't like that before. So, I mean, I'm not gonna panic. I'm not trying to be like, oh my gosh, something's wrong but something is kind of wrong, but I'm just going to, you know, see how it feels tonight and in the morning. And I mean, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm not getting off trail. I'll tell you that right now, <laughs> but yeah, it's just a little story time on my chair rock next to this beautiful stream of water. I hope everything's okay. This is so magical. There's a deer. Rolling my ankle.
fish are jumping out. Oh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Get your face. Oh, I'm so tired. The thought of getting up in like four hours to summit is like probably not gonna happen, you guys. But originally I was gonna take the second cutoff so I didn't have to do that portion of the PCT tomorrow, but I just took the first one because there's like it's like a couple miles less distance, so that's what I need right now in my life. I'll worry about that other couple miles tomorrow, but I'm like already getting kind of like, oh, it's gonna be so cold tomorrow above tree line, like not okay. And I, and I don't like climbing things in the dark because I like to see the views, so we'll see what I decide. But I'm summiting regardless tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow morning, I'll be heading that way. 7.6 miles, baby. <laughs> <laughs> 